everybody it is Tanya Thrifty Treasures welcome back to another video so in today's video I thought it would be fun for me to share some recent sales and also if you're new to my channel I am a part-time reseller I sell on eBay Poshmark Etsy Amazon Macari I have my own website it's called thrifty treasures tanya.com and also I have an antique booth that I sell in so today I'm going to be sharing some sales from eBay Poshmark Etsy and Macari and we might throw in a couple from Amazon as well. I haven't really sold a whole lot over there but uh, I'll see what I can put together for you guys. Okay so first up are the eBay sales. Now here is a pair of reader glasses. These are the brand is iBobs. Some of you guys remember I picked these up all in a bag uh, with a bunch of different ones. There was iBobs brand and there were also some Betsy Johnson glasses. I believe I got the whole bag for $3 and there was just a ton of reading glasses in there. And this one pair in particular sold for $35. And if I had to guesstimate how much it cost uh, breaking down from the bag of all of them, I would say this pair probably cost about a quarter. So again, it sold for $35 plus $4.25 shipping. And then here are just some of my pictures. This is my mannequin head bust here. Her name is Ariel. <laughs> uh, so she's a lot of fun. She's kind of crazy looking. But yeah, I like to display the glasses on her for sure. Okay. The next sale is a Kate Spade uh, New York women's blouse. Uh, it is an ooh la la blouse and it is a size large. Now take a tip from me. Please do your pictures on a white or black background. Now here for this picture I had just got this background with these leaves and I was excited to experiment with it. Clearly it was a total fail. <laughs> it doesn't look good. There's too much going on. Um, this blouse should have definitely been on a white background. But uh, nevertheless, it did sell, so it sold for $35 uh, with $4.25 shipping. I shipped that first class. Um, this was also in a garage sale video this summer. I believe I paid $3 for this blouse. And then here are some the different pictures. I show the front of it, the back of it, a picture, an up-close picture of the tag there and then an up-close picture of the print. The next item, uh, also I got this at a garage sale. I want to say I paid, I can't remember exactly, anywhere from three to five dollars for this pair of uh, titties. They are uh, bare naked, big knockers, latex men's sandals, size large. I uh, put them up on uh, a buy it now for $24.99 because you can buy these brand new um, this exact pair on their website I believe for about $39 so put them up for $24.99 plus $7.95 shipping and they did sell right away within a day I believe they sold so I was really happy about that sale well, let me show you the different pictures so we got a kind of like a front side view there a back view and a bottom view. So the next pair uh, are more glasses. These were both uh, uh, reading prescription, not a prescription, but strength 2.50 or 2.50. So I did lot these together. They were Betsy Johnson and we have a really nice cheetah print here, kind of like a tortoise shell. Oops. And also a really pretty uh, like a real light blue clear pair. So um, I listed these, put them up for $19.99 a buy it now with $4.25 first class shipping and they did sell. So my total investment in these glasses was probably about 50 cents uh, a quarter per pair. So in this this uh, auction in particular or buy it now I just have a picture of the front and then a picture of the back. You can notice they're the Betsy Johnson because of the little bitty heart over there. Let's go over there, little hearts. So really cute, love Betsy Johnson. 
We have one more pair of reading glasses. This is another pair of the eye bobs. So probably uh, my investment in this pair of eye bobs is a quarter. And they did this pair did sell for $35 plus $4.25 uh, first class shipping. So these are kind of like a real pretty blue and green and brown pair for fun in this auction. I did say pre-loved instead of pre-owned. Sometimes I'd like to put that. Um, but these were a really great condition. Really love the colors, very summery and reminds me of the ocean and the beach. Okay. Some of you may remember this was also a garage sale purchase that I came across a whole bunch of Suki Suki brand earrings and um, some rings. I had never even heard of Suki Suki until I went to this garage sale. And the sad thing is they're actually uh, made here in Texas, but I had never heard of them. But they are really pretty and you can see that they're marked here on the back really big Suki Suki. And there's another, this pair is a little um, scuffed up, pre-loved as well. So I paid $2 for this pair of earrings and they sold for $17.99 plus $3.95 first class shipping. The next item, this is a brand I had never heard of before, but I bought this at Goodwill and I want to say I paid maybe $3 or $5.99 for this bag. And um, I believe it was new, but the tags were not attached. It was just kind of like laying down in the bag. So I did say used on there, but I'm pretty sure the person who did get it was probably happy because it was new. The tags just weren't attached, but I did have the tag for it. So the brand is Fortnum and Mason Lobster Blue Bag here. And there's a picture of the front. And there's a picture of the inside. I guess the back must be the same. But yeah, really cute bag. And it sold for $25 plus $4.24 first class shipping. I don't know why I put $0.24 cents right there like that. That must have been a typo. <laughs> I'm sure I meant to say like $4.20 or $4.25 or something like that. But yeah, I love the color on this. I love the the subject matter there with a the little lobster with a little top hat so I thought why not take a chance and pick this up. The next item sold a while back I believe in the beginning of June of this summer. It is a Kenneth J. Lane signed Ruby Rhinestone Starburst or Sunburst brooch pen and I did buy this at Goodwill a while back and again I can't remember the exact price that paid for it it was anywhere from probably $2.99 to $4.99, but it was in really great condition. Definitely a collector piece for Kenneth J. Lane. And um, I took a picture there on a cool rock that I have, also on a white background, and then a picture of the back as well. So it was on sale. I did have it up for $98. I chose that high price because when I did the research, that's what um, a lot of the other people were listing theirs for, and even more, I had listed mine lower. So I did run a 40% off sale, and it sold for $58.80 with free shipping. Um, so if you just heard some birds chirping, that is actually my clock on the wall. <laughs> it is 10 o'clock in the morning here, so they are chirping away. They chirp away every hour on the hour. So yeah, this was a really good jewelry sale. And now let's uh, let's see what I sold on Etsy now. Let's go to the next one. Okay, now on to my Etsy sales. Um, this is not all of my sales. I've just kind of picked out a handful of items to share with you guys. And um, let's get started. So the first one is this really pretty, beautiful pair of earrings here. I titled it Vintage Cherry Rhinestone Dangle Pierced Earrings. And I picked these up this summer at a garage sale. I think I paid about uh, $4 for these. And they sold for $22.99. The next item is a retro mid-century mod wood cabochon cluster brooch pin. Um, this sold for 
$20 with $3.50 uh, for shipping. And I picked this up. I believe I got this at a garage sale for about $2. I can't remember exactly where. But And um, let's look at the pictures here. Okay, so sorry if I seem a little off right now. My son is actually going to his first rock and roll concert tonight, and he just left, and I'm just a little out of sorts. <laughs> if you, um, if you, any of you guys are moms out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about right now, I'm sure. Um, so, yeah, he's 16, and I uh, just love him to death. Okay, so the next item is... Um, it is a vintage 1950s red heart charm bracelet and earrings and necklace set here. And this is actually a two item purchase. So they bought this set right here for $34.99. And um, let's look at some of the pictures. And this person actually messaged me and asked me if I would take a little bit less. And I agreed to what they um, or they agreed to what I offered them. I think I offered them like five or ten dollars off, I believe. And um, it was really a beautiful set. Let's see. And then the next item that they also bought was this vintage rhinestone belt bracelet. It's uh, blingy and it's stunning. So this would be a great uh, bracelet to wear for a prom or a fancy evening out. So, and this one sold for $29.99 and I believe I charged $4.50 shipping first class for everything and here are some more of the pictures and this is my neat little hand display here this is made by Pure Morgan she is on Instagram and she is also here on Etsy as well so if you guys are interested in um, purchasing one of her hands let me know and I'll def definitely send you the link for that She's a really nice lady. So, and here's the bracelet all laid out. Okay, <clears throat> so the next item, this is a Roman numeral stainless steel bangle bracelet. And this is really interesting. I believe I purchased this for about a dollar, maybe even came in a jewelry jar or a bag. I have a hard time remembering exactly. But it sold for $19.99 plus $3.50 shipping. And there's just a different angle. And here it is. Uh, I'm showing how it opens. Okay, the next one is a vintage silver purple stone charm necklace. Now this is also a two item purchase from a subscriber from Margaret L. So thank you Margaret so much for buying this. And uh, she paid $23.95. Well, actually, <clears throat> it might have been a little bit less than that because I was running a 40% off sale. So oh, that might have been the sale price. I think that was the sale price. So this was $23.95. And here are a few different angles of that. And then the second item she purchased was this really pretty vintage floral embroidered evening bag purse. Just a gorgeous little purse. Love that. And that one sold for $25. Now, again, that might have been what I had it listed for, and it might have been 40% off that. Because um, here my notes are a little bit confusing. But um, either way, it still gives you an idea of some of the things that I buy and sell and uh, flip for profit here on Etsy. Now here's a pair of Celestial Sun Star Dangle Earrings. They are silver turn, they're not real sterling. So these I picked up for 50 cents this summer at a garage sale and they sold for $14.99 plus $3.50 for first class shipping. And I guess I just had the one picture of them. And if you guys want to follow me over on Etsy, I am Couture Door on Etsy as well. I'll show you again bigger whenever I get to the end here. This was also a subscriber purchase, this Avon Coleman Lantern. It's an empty bottle. And um, as you can see, it says reserved for Deanna. So thank you, Deanna, for purchasing this. She paid $10 for this. 
and I believe I picked it up for a quarter or 50 cents. So thank you so much, Deanna. The next item is a vintage rosewood carving cat sculpture, sculpture Ames Era style. So a lot of this cat, um, again, got this at a garage sale this summer. I think I paid about $5 for this. And I had it up for $34.99 originally, but with 40% off, uh, a customer purchased it for $20.99 plus $7.95 shipping. And there goes my bird clock again. <laughs> so let's just look at some of the different angles. Not the best pictures. I was uh, taking pictures on my back patio table. So sometimes I get bored just doing the black and white all the time. I like to change it up every now and then. Okay, um, this item here was a really good sell. This is a vintage rare buck deer hunting Arthur Court silver ornate serving pitcher from 1992. And yes, 1992 is considered, considered vintage on Etsy. Um, this I purchased at Goodwill for $7.99 plus some tax. And it's, um, I had it up for $149.99. And with 40% off, it sold at $89.40, plus $14.95 shipping. It was super heavy. But here are some pictures. So you can see what it looks like. I always pick up Arthur Court stuff whenever I see it. I actually have a lot here at the house, especially the bunny stuff that I haven't listed yet. I'm having a hard time parting with it. It's just so pretty. I love it. Um, and then here's the bottom. You can see it signed Arthur Court. Okay, and the last item I'm going to show you for Etsy is this Kirk's Folly pink beaded necklace. Um, this necklace I purchased at Goodwill, I think, for either a dollar or two ninety nine, something like that. And I had it up for twenty seven ninety five, but with forty percent off, it sold for eleven dollars and eighteen cents plus $3.50 for shipping. And let me show you the different pictures here. I don't think I have a close-up of the tag. Let's see if we can see a close-up. I don't think we're going to be able to. But yeah, I had never heard of Kirk's Folly until I picked up this necklace here. So let me show you... Uh, let me see if I can get to that from here. What happens if I click on that? Okay, so yeah, I am Couture Adore on Etsy. If you guys want to come follow me over here, here's my shop. And um, I actually have been on Etsy since 2008. I just have not been very active over here. Um, but I'm trying to get more active. I definitely love it uh, as a selling platform and also to buy on too. I just rec recently purchased an item over there for my daughter. So... Love Etsy. Okay, so let's move onward to Poshmark. Okay, so I've got a few Poshmark cells pulled up here for you guys. The first item is a vintage Christian Dior reading eyeglass eye frame glasses. Now, I wasn't sure of the strength of these glasses. So I didn't really say, I just let the person know that um, they definitely wore a prescription. And um, a lot of you probably already know this, but you can buy frames and have, um, have your own personal lenses placed inside of them. So a lot of people just like to buy the vintage frames and then they'll have their own prescription lenses placed inside. So these sold for $29 and I believe I purchased these for $2 at Goodwill. Um, the next item is a Love Betsy by Betsy Johnson unicorn purse. It's, it was a little crossbody purse. Um, this I picked up at a garage sale. I think I paid like 18 for everything. And so I got a lot of items. I want to say I probably paid maybe a dollar for this. So, and it sold for $13. The next item is a pair of Ugg black leather cloths. They were a size 9 and they sold for $35. And I picked these up for $5 at a garage sale. And here are some of the different pictures. 
picture of the inside the label, the bottom, and the back. The next item is also something I picked up. Uh, a lot of these items are, are things that I picked up over the summer at Garage Souls. This is one of them. I paid a dollar for this little um, solid wood K jewelry box. And uh, let's see, my friend Debbie purchased this from me for $15. It was a beautiful box. I think it retailed for $25. But really pretty box. The next item is a pair of Coach Jade Black Wedges Heels Shoes, size 9. Jade was actually the name of the shoe, and I picked these up also at a garage sale for $5, and they sold for $25. Took forever to sell, though. I want to say I picked these up really early on in the summer, maybe even May. See, the next item is another pair of eyeglasses, and these were the, uh, I guess it's BB, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, hopefully I am, Kiss and Tail eyeglasses, frames with a case, and again, I didn't know what the strength of the prescription was, but I just put down everything that I saw, so 48, 15, 130 is uh, what I saw on there, and here are the different pictures. And I probably paid, I don't know, maybe three or four dollars for these at a garage sale. I have a hard time remembering. But they sold for $31. This is why I'm always picking up the eyeglasses, you guys, because they can be really good sellers. The next item is a pair of Suki Suki earrings with the matching ring as well. And these sold for $18. I paid $4 for both of these pizza pieces. So $2 each, $2 for the earrings, and I believe I paid $2 for the ring as well. And so here's the back side. Really pretty. I love her jewelry. It's so pretty. The next item is a pair of men's vans, <coughs> excuse me, men's vans, red and white checker, size 10. And I got these at a garage sale for $5. That seems to be the going rate for shoes at a garage sale that I like are $5. But these were in really good condition, clean condition. Uh, the teenager really took good care of his shoes. Because he did have more on them, and of course I asked if he would take five, and he said yes. So I like to pick up the vans whenever they're in good condition because they are pricey. The next item is a pair of Tory Burch floral slip-on loafer shoes. Um, these, I actually paid up for these at Goodwill. I paid $10 for these, and they sold for $29. So not a ton of profit, but um, because, you know, Poshmark does take 20% of the sale price. So I didn't get as much as I was hoping to get for these. But I'm just glad that they sold and I did get my money back plus a little bit of profit. And then here are the different pictures. The tops and the sides looked really good. The bottoms were a little worn. But overall, I feel like they were in really good shape. Um, so if you guys want to go follow me over on Poshmark, um, you can find me at Tana Sheets. And... I love uh, selling on Poshmark. It's a lot of fun. So I actually have a Poshmark group. It's called Poshmark Talk on Facebook. If you guys want to go check that out and join that group, we'd love to have you. Over there. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this type of video, be sure and let me know in the comments down below, and I'll try to bring them to you more often. Have a good one, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.